Can you still use a 25 year old iMac today? This computer is older than me. And today I'm gonna to put it to the test to see if I can run Adobe and maybe design something on a computer this ancient. To even get this thing to turn on, I had to do a complete tear down, weeks of work, and go through many, many tears. I've now learned that it does this when you click the mouse. Now, if I can't get this thing to work, and if I can't design, let's say, five logos on it, then I made a pact to myself, I'm gonna have to go to the Apple store and dress up like Steve Jobs. So, make sure to stick around to the end because you won't want to miss that. Nice to meet you, I'm Steve. <laughs> I've got this keyboard here, or uh, what do you call this, a mouse? I've got a mouse right here. Urgh, this thing is so heavy. I don't know if you'll be able to even tell. Oh my God, it is ridiculous how heavy this thing is. Whew, that probably just broke it. I have not turned this thing on since my last video on it, which was about a year ago, which was the first and last time I ever used it. And <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm saying that out loud, I'm a little concerned because I just planned out this whole video. <sighs> Three, two, one. Dang it. <gasps> Welcome to Mac. This is an iMac G3 in Blueberry. It's from 1999. I picked it up for about 50 bucks. Here's the front, here's the back, here's the side of it. And now let's go ahead and start her up. Okay, so this is the desktop. Welcome to the 90s. I really don't remember how to use this at all. So this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Let's see, I'm just gonna click around a little bit. God, that was freaking loud. Why was that so loud? I mean, this is as bare bones as it gets, guys. There is nothing on this computer. Internet Explorer? They didn't have Safari? Oh God, look at this. This is what the internet looked like in 1999. Oh God, it's freezing. Here it is, Adobe Illustrator. Let's open this sucker up. Now remember, before we get started here, I'm gonna give myself one hour and five logos to design. And if I can't do that, in an hour using this ancient technology that I will have to dress up like Steve Jobs and be eternally embarrassed. One hour starts right now. Feastables. And let's see what Mr. Beast would look like in 1999. I don't really know where to start. I guess with the text tool, Feastables. Trying to use keyboard shortcuts that were definitely not invented in 1999. Everything I know is keyboard shortcuts. This is gonna be a pain. So there's no way to just grab my text here and make it bigger like you normally can do. You have to go to the type menu, go to size, and then pick your size. Let's see what type of fonts we got. Where to go? <laughs> okay, Chicago doesn't work. Charcoal is kind of nice. These are all gonna be standard, whatever comes on a 1999 iMac fonts. Not bad, that doesn't scream Mr. Beast though. I think we need something sans serif. Oh, that's Feastables. That's really cool. Put this puppy in a square. All right, all right, all right. How do we make my square longer after I've made it? Is that possible at all? There's no way that you cannot change a rectangle. Did they have to draw a new rectangle every time they wanted to modify the shape? The packaging on this is blue and they've got a highlight color of pink right there. Now, the only problem is my text is behind this giant rectangle. So send it back. Yes, it actually looks pretty cool already. Can we duplicate? Yes, we can still duplicate. Let's go with the standard pink and I'm gonna send this to the back as kind of like a little drop shadow. Free distort? <laughs> what is that? In 1999, if you wanted to change your shape, you have to go into free distort and kind of guess where your shape should be and what you want it to look like. Boom. I wonder if I can do the text too. Oh my God, are you guys seeing this? This is looking like a freaking good looking logo. On his mascot, he's got a little lightning bolt. This be interesting use of the pen tool over here. Boom, boom, boom. So far working as expected. I think that's, that's gonna be it for this one. <laughs> Current Feastables. 
Feastables from 1990s. It does have a very like authentic 90s look without me even really trying. I will say that. Is it the best looking logo you've ever seen? Probably not. Should Mr. Beast replace this logo on his chocolate bar with this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna continue with our next YouTuber related product. We're gonna do Prime. I don't know if you've had this. This is Logan Paul's drink. Oh God, <laughs> it is sugary. If we take a look at their logo, there's not really much going on there. It's basically just the text, impact font, drop shadow. Oh my God. We only have 35 minutes. How is that possible? I don't want to actually do the Steve Jobs thing. I just thought that would be funny. Let's start with the text like we did last time. Prime. If you guys ever watch Futurama, they have like a drink in there called Slurm. And that is exactly what I want to copy for this. Ooh, that's not bad. The fun thing about the Slurm product packaging is that it's got like this splash of like goop around it. We are gonna try to do something similar. I'm not in love with it, but I think I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> I can't, I don't have time for that. I might have to go a little custom on this. I want it to be, yes, that's it, like a goop green. Let's use my pen tool and fill this sucker in. It'd be nice if I could like just turn it a little bit. I'd love to just skew it. There we go, that looks amazing. And now we're gonna put another one on top. We're gonna go to paint style and we're gonna make it freaking pink. That's good. Yes, I'm getting the hang of this a little bit. You guys be the judge. Let me know in the comments, which one would you rather have? This prime or this prime? I think I'd rather drink that than this. <laughs> Now, I'm not entirely convinced that this Mac is gonna make it to the end of this video. That's another time limitation we have because this thing is burning up. Let's do TikTok next. I really like the concept of like taking these brands that never existed in the 90s and trying to design them as if it was the 90s. That's really what I'm trying to get at with this video. Just like the last ones, let's start with a good font and just see where that carries us. <laughs> like something like that's really kind of fun because you would never see TikTok use like this type of font. An idea is forming in my mind now. How do we compound this path? <laughs> The biggest thing that I'm missing that I wish I had the just basic transform. I would love to rotate this, but I'm forced to use the rotate tool and it's just such a hassle. There's a tool for everything here. I feel like this is what the TikTok logo probably looked like when they started out and they didn't have any money or something. I feel like 90s design was very much just super random looking stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just kind of cute. I like it. I think all this needs is a little bit of pizzazz, a little color. Cyan. I'm really scared to look at the timer, but I guess I have to. 14 minutes. We have two more we need to do in 14 minutes. We are not mathing. The math ain't working right now, and I'm taking forever to pick out my colors. Okay, that looks good. I like that. Some might say a little childish, but... I don't know. I like it personally. Is it retro? Maybe retro like 1990s preschool. Let's get out of influencers. Let's go back to our roots. We're gonna do the Ikea logo. It's from Sweden, which is pretty cool. So let's start by picking a good font. We have 11 minutes now. I, I don't know how I just burned through like four minutes talking. Ooh, I like that. This feels very fun. Their colors are very iconic, so we're gonna definitely stick with that same sort of color theme. Usually you have a freaking color wheel, and right now I'm, I'm manually changing values, and I haven't even talked about this, I've just adapted to it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this oval on the side has really caught my attention and it reminds me like the Ikea logo is supposed to have an oval. This is the Ikea logo. That's what we came up with. Kept it with those lowercase i. I think it's retro. I think it looks cool. But more importantly, I have about six minutes. I only have six minutes. <laughs> I was totally wrong before. I said I needed two logos. I have to make McDonald's and Apple are both on my list to make in six minutes. If I can't make them both, then I will actually have to dress up like Steve Jobs and go to the Apple store. And I should probably bring this thing with me. Don't fast forward. I'm going to try to rush through these and make McDonald's and Apple in six minutes. I brought an apple as a prop because I wanted some inspiration. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't believe in myself. Okay, McDonald's. I had a little bit of an idea going for this one, so that helps me out because I don't have to brainstorm because I already brainstormed a little bit. So we're gonna try to find McDonald's color. That feels like the golden arches. Maybe they're a little bit more yellow than that. Yeah, that's them. I would really love to round these corners. Stylized, round corners. Oh my God, I'm like so lucky I just found that. Oh God, oh God. I'm out 40%. Whoa, no undo, undo. I, I, that's fine, they're round. Fortunately for me, even though I have less time than when I started and I was messing around with Mr. Beast so much, I actually have learned the program along the way. Is this gonna be perfectly centered line? No, do I even know if that's possible on this version of Adobe? No. I wonder what else they use. I wonder if there was an alternative to Adobe. It's either this or freaking working with wood, woodworking <laughs> to make your designs. Oh, this is starting to look like an evil layer. Oh my God, there's only one freaking minute left. Oh God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Why am I still doing this? This doesn't even look good. This will look way better in my head. I probably need to move on to Apple now. How did the M get so messed up? <laughs> it doesn't even look good. What happened? It doesn't even look like an M anymore. No, no. <laughs> I'm absolutely flabbergasted right now. I outlined this video and I said to myself, I'm gonna give myself an hour, an hour to do five logos. What's that, like 25 minutes each? And here I am. I didn't want that challenge to be real. I did not want to go to the Apple store and dress up like Steve Jobs. Is I mean, it like a Halloween like costume? Uh, no, I just wear this every day, yeah. My name's Steve. Yeah. Oh, really? A little cosplay happening here. I bought this, um, probably last year. Yeah. No, I don't want to recycle. I figured maybe we could plug it in or something. Is that actually going to work? I think it is. So no way. Have a what? <laughs> What's your name? Kevin. Kevin. Nice Kevin. to meet you. I'm Steve. <laughs> What's your last name? Uh, Let me guess. Jay. <laughs> Were you saying that's the actual Matt Ford right now? Yeah. So they didn't change the cord in 25 years? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Let's hold it down. Three. Three. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Green light. Wow. This thing is a relic. <laughs> I am like blown away. I've never Have you ever seen it? No, I've never. I've never seen it. Only that's online. That's so funny. Only online. I've never seen one in person. I paid $50 for this on no, Facebook. No, that's a steal. <laughs> Good on you. They I... said they were going to turn me into a fish steak. Wow. Damn. I know. Isn't that cool? How heavy it yeah. is. Is it like yeah. 40 pounds? But yeah, it's heavy. It was like, I was, I'm not that big of a guy. Where's the keyboard? How much yeah. do you think it would be worth? Do you think I could trade this for the studio toy? Oh my yeah. god, I need to get rid of it. <laughs> I did not understand what you meant. My name is Steve earlier. I was like, oh, okay, that's a, that's a nice name, yeah. Take the second. All right, so funny. I'm so smart. Oh, man. Everybody's back. I know. You guys work for me anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know in the comments which one of these designs that you liked the best. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button if you liked the video because I post a video about design every single week. So if you like this, hit subscribe and you'll see my next video. See you then.